Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to look at solving word problems with proportions. So here's our first problem. A fire hydrant two feet high casts a seven foot shadow. How tall is a street light that casts a 28 foot shadow at the same time? Let H represent the height of the street light. So let's define our variable H is equal to the height of the street light. And the first thing we need to do after that is draw our picture. So we have a little fire hydrant and it's only two feet high, but it casts a shadow that's seven feet long. So it's quite a long shadow. And then we have a street light and it is an unknown height. That's our H. Our H is this side and it's casting a 28 foot shadow. So you want to draw these so they look almost like triangles. Okay, where we have a right angle right here at the base. Now we can set up proportions. So two feet is to seven feet as H is to 28. So let's set up that proportion. Two is to seven as H is to 28. And now we can do cross products to solve it. So seven times H is seven H. Two times 28 is 56. And then we're going to divide both sides by seven. And so the height is equal to eight feet. So the street light must be eight feet tall. And that's how you find that value. Okay, let's look at a second one. This one's just the diagram. So the hardest part's been done, which is setting it up. So we have a flagpole that has a shadow that's 90 inches. And we have a child that's 54 inches and her shadow is 36 inches. So again, we're going to set up a proportion. So the height over the shadow is equal to the height over the shadow. So X is to 90 as 54 is to 36. And again, we're going to do a cross product. So X times 36 is 36 X. And we're going to take 90 times 54. Now I'm going to grab my calculator and take uh, 90 times 54 and that gives me 4860 is equal to 36 X to get the X by itself we're going to divide by 36 so let's divide this by 36 and we get X is equal to 135 so what does that represent that represents the height of the flagpole what unit measure are we in? We're in inches. So this is going to be 135 inches tall. So that's how we do that one. Okay, let's look at one more of these. Okay, again, it's a diagram. We have a tree. We don't know the tree's height, but we do know this tree shadow is 30 feet. We know this person is five feet tall and the shadow is four feet. So let's set up a proportion. Height is to shadow, so X is to 30, as height is to shadow, so five feet is to four. Let's perform our cross product. Four times X is four X. 30 times five is 150. Let's divide both sides by four to solve for X. So X is equal to 150 divided by 4, and that's 37.5, and then let's look at its unit measure. All these are in feet, so that's going to be feet, so 37 and a half feet represents the height of the tree. So that's how you set these proportion word problems, solving problems, how you set them up. I hope this video was helpful.